Hello, I'm Kristen, head trainer at Teletales. I have over 15 years of experience helping families and dogs with very different goals. There are a few different aspects to stay training. One is distance from your dog. You can start by moving just your foot backwards and if your dog stays, return and reward. Turn that into one step, return and reward. Two steps, three steps, four steps, gradually build up to the amount of distance you need. You might want to turn your back, so turn your back from up close, return and reward. Turn your back and take one or two steps, return and reward. We are going to gradually work up to whatever you need. Another variation is the amount of time your dog is staying. Start with just one or two seconds, then reward. Then work up to four or five seconds. Sometimes throw in an easy repetition so he doesn't expect every single one to get more challenging. Another variation is distraction. Here the distraction is a toy. I showed him the toy and rewarded my dog for staying. Then I lowered it to the ground a little more each time and worked up to dropping it on the floor and tossing it a short distance. This could be any kind of distraction, touching a door, opening the door slightly, opening the door a little bit more, or maybe having a kid walk by, jog by, run by, and your dog is learning to stay with the gradually increased challenge. When you're ready to add a cue, warm up with a few challenges. Give your dog a distraction, return and reward, and mix up the kinds of distractions you give him. Then give your verbal cue or hand signal before you step away. Your dog is learning the word predicts a challenge and he should freeze up and hold his position. We are here to help you. If you have any questions, please reach out to me or a member of our team and we will get you on the right track. We also offer virtual private coaching to help you with your dog. See you soon.